Warrior faithful anxiously awaiting their arrival on the floor. Well, the weekend obviously is in full swing, and so is the NBA. Hey, thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. Moments away, it'll be the Sacramento Kings going up against the Golden State Warriors here in Chase Center. This is Kevin Harlan, and joining me, former NBA players Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson, and the award-winning David Aldridge is on our sidelines. Now Sacramento starting five. Fox in the backcourt with Herder to his side. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. And it's Barnes in at the three. And for the Warriors, we've got Kaminga. Also, Kavon Looney out there. Stephen Curry's out there with Thompson. And it's Pajemski in at the two. Now we know, Greg, trade talks have increased as we get closer to the deadline. So how does it affect the player when their name is mentioned in trade room? Well, listen, it can rattle your confidence, and especially the first time it happens. But, Kevin, it's, it's important to remember that it's all business, and guys just can't take it personally. Now here's Kaminga. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Richard for the Warriors, a number of future Hall of Famers playing a part. But Stephen Curry, we all know this, is the center of it all. He's the greatest shooter ever, Kev. We all know that. But I, when people say that he changed the game, a lot of times I like to give credit to the entire team. Having Klay Thompson helps Steph be Steph. And having Draymond Green with that defense and his Shoot passing two. ability helps Steph game go to another level. First free throw is good. Boy, doesn't Mike Brown, uh, GA, deserve a lot of credit for the Kings' recent success. He's been terrific. I mean, bringing that championship pedigree from Golden State, Brown went to the finals as the head coach in Cleveland and one of the best people in the league as well. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And last season, the Warriors' so-called two-timeline approach seemed to fall flat, didn't you think, G.A.? And whether it was chemistry or younger players still growing into their roles, the Warriors are now clear. There's only one timeline, and that's Steph Curry's. Another whistle, and he's got to be careful with his foul situation. Sacramento making a switch here. Monks checked in. Here's Pajemski. Passes it to Kerr. The three. There's Looney. An easy two points on the layup. He's got a knack for those putbacks, so you have to be aware of that defensively. Get a body on him. Fox finds Murray. The Warriors pull it in. Just enough resistance to force them as barely. That's one he'll generally make. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. A pass to Fox. Kicks it to Barnes. Just five on the clock. And it's Looney with the rebound. Oh, man, that's tough. That's definitely one he'd like back. Almost too wide open. Fox against Curry. Kaminga down low. Over Monk. And no good. Trying to use the glass. And so Fox will bring it up for the Kings. Nothing yet up on the scoreboard for them. Showing the point guard instincts there. Fox with great vision. The Warriors have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. In 2023, a breakthrough season for De'Aaron Fox. He earned his first All-Star appearance. He's developed a well-rounded game, Greg. Plus, he proved that he's got that clutch gene winning the Mr. Clutch Award. He is just now hitting his prime. Now, Fox. After the missed three from Stephen Curry. Here's the bonus. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. 
you see the strength and the poise of Sabonis. He loves going in, taking contact, and finishing over defenders. The Kings shooting their first free throw of the night here. Not really where you'd like to be as a team in terms of free throw shooting. Just about 73%. And the Warriors with a completely new five on the floor. Then for the Kings, Miles check in for Keegan Murray. Chris Duarte comes in for Barnes. And it's Mitchell in for De'Aaron Fox. And that one misses. And when you talk about big men, you won't find many guys more versatile than DeMondis Simonis. Yes, he scores and rebounds at a very impressive rate. But what stands out to me the most is how amazing of a passer he is. That's why he was third-team All-NBA. And that's just great work there to get in the shooter's face and then go and corral that backboard. Here's Duarte, covered by Wiggins. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Here's Sabonis. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. Here's Wiggins, and it's Wiggins with the jam. I love it when Wiggins is aggressive on offense, especially when he's near the rim. Out to the wing. Here's Sabonis, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Sabonis has got his second bucket of the game to go. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. You can just see the passion and love with which he plays the game. You see how he prepares, the work ethic, the way he interacts with his teammates. And when he hits the floor, it's all about the game. Here's Wiggins. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. From past the arc. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Warriors lead by two. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. They're just out hustling them on the boards, punishing them for refusing to box them out accordingly. You know, Richard, this is not just your job. You're a huge fan of basketball. So that being said, who is your favorite player to watch? Back in the day, it was David Robinson. He was my very, very first favorite player. And I actually got to play against him in his last game that he ever played in the NBA Finals when they beat us. But right now, it's probably Steph Curry, Jokic, LeBron. I, I love guys that just play the game in such a beautiful, unique way. As a fan, that's my favorite. They're going to go small with Paul, and Curry is the guard pair. Kaminga out there with Clay Thompson. And it's Looney in at the five down low. That's the group for the Golden State Warriors to start the second quarter. Miles no good. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Golden State. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. Yeah, and that one, their intensity on the offensive end was not matched by their opponent. That led to some easy buckets. And on top of probably having the better talent, they never let up. Great effort, great win. One thing that's really emerged, RJ, for De'Aaron Fox over the last few years, his leadership. Yeah, hey, when you combine great talent and maturity, your teammates will follow the example you set. And he is setting that example night in and night out. Now, here's Fox. Following the miss by Jonathan Kaminga. Oh, I can see some miscommunication on defense there very clearly. They were super fortunate it didn't torch them with that mistake. And now Sacramento on the break. Murray, the pass to Herter. Back to Murray. Fox kicks to Murray. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. 
Warriors have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Kevin, thanks. Chris Paul is on the back nine of what will be a Hall of Fame career, but he's not ready to hang it up just yet. He said, I don't know if I can ever retire because the emotional roller coaster that you go on during a game, for real, there's nothing like it. His love of the game has never been in question, Kevin. Back to you. Yeah, you're right, David. Never in question. Hey, thanks for that story. Six on the shot clock. Fox. Sacramento again missing. Thompson in the post. Covered by Lyons. And Thompson gets it to go. Ooh, look at Thompson outworking the defense. Winning that second chance look for his team. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. RJ, if you had to choose someone to take the last shot in a big game, Clay Thompson, I'm assuming, is right up there. Oh, Kev, Clay Thompson would be my number one. He plays with an even temperature. His facial expressions never change. He's never too high, never too low. And look, we've obviously seen that he can knock down any shot at any time. And the Warriors with a completely new five on the floor. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Sabonis, he's checked in for Lyles. Chris Duarte comes in for Murray. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Kevin Herter. And it's Mitchell in for De'Aaron Fox. Now, here's Monk. Still without a basket. And you gotta love that three-point stroke of Monk. I mean, he's got such a high arcing shot there. It gives it a good chance to go in from deep. Here's Pajemski. Here's Jackson Davis. Monk grabs the board. We've got 33 seconds left in the second quarter. Duarte offline with his three. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. Did a great job closing the gap, making the shooter feel uncomfortable. Here's Jackson Davis. Moody the pass to Wiggins. Over Barnes. And that one's good. Wiggins. Wiggins has got his second bucket of the night. And in the face, Wiggins is not phased. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. The Warriors on top. They're up by one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Steve. Some great engagement defensively. What's happening that's good at that end of the floor? I think they're just playing hard, rotating, playing for each other, and I think they've done a better job of avoiding fouls and just playing good. Steve, thanks for your time. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. They led by two after the first. They were outscored by just a bit in the second quarter as they go into the break now holding just a one-point advantage. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what you think? I'd love to see a team grind for those offensive scores. They're doing the dirty work and converting those extra possessions into points. It's got to be demoralizing for the defense at this stage. And Shaq, what do you think about Sacramento? Well, they could be ahead in this game if they were taking care of the boards. More possession means more scoring opportunities. A few rebounds either way could decide the outcome of the game. Ultimately, this game will come down to who wants it more. 
that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter just about to get started. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And so Fox will bring it up for Sacramento. It's a one-point game. Second half underway, and here's who Mike Brown's got on the floor. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. Herder and Barnes are your wingmen. And it's Fox in at the point. The Warriors shooting about 35% from the floor. Not much falling for them. And yes, records are made to be broken. But RJ made three-point shots. My goodness, Curry is so far ahead of everyone else. Yeah, to me, it comes down to longevity. LeBron passed Kareem on all-time scoring lists, so anything is possible. But it's hard to pass Steph because he's just going to keep going. The free throw drops for Curry. Think about the impact that Steph has had on this game. Him and his team have changed the way the game is played. They have ushered in the three-point error. And both free throws good for Curry. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Fox passes to Sabonis. Now the dish to Barnes. Outside, Fox. Six to shoot. Shoots over Curry. And Fox gets it to go. Fox has got the lead up to one now for the Kings. They need offense from Fox at the point guard. His jump shot is an important weapon for them. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. After a fantastic first season under coach Mike Brown, the Kings are ready for bigger and better things in year two. Brown said, this is probably the first opportunity I've had that allows me to do what I feel was necessary to get the team headed in the right direction. There wasn't going to be much pushback because they were looking for somebody to give them guidance and direction. And he certainly embraced that responsibility, Kevin. I like that. Yeah, he has embraced it. Good stuff, David, and thank you for the report. Here's Fox following the basket by Stephen Kerr. Now Fox. His offensive numbers jump right off the screen at you. He's averaging over 29 points a game. And this has been a nice start to the second half. They're three out of four in a rhythm on the offense right now. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. Switch here. Paul's checked in. Trey Lyles checked in for the Kings. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Thompson passes to Looney. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Looney's got six. Something lit a fire under them at the half. They started this quarter going three for three from the floor. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. Sabonis with the bucket. I like how aggressive Sabonis is inside. He just has a feel for how to score down there. Being left-handed also helps. 
And it's Kaminga at the elbow. Basket counts. Kaminga's got the lead back up to four now for the Warriors. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Here's Fox. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Looney's got seven rebounds in the game. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Now here's Kaminga. And Thompson kicks to Paul. Just five to shoot. Second shot opportunity. Sacramento grabs the miss. I think the defense will live with him taking mid-range jumpers, but maybe just a little bit more resistance. Fox passes to Lyles. Driving in and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. They get Stephen Curry. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And, of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throws good, Lyle. Both teams will make substitutions. Both shots good from the strike. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Paul passes to Sharich. Now here's Wigan. Tight defense on him. Tries again. And the layup by Sharks. Sharks has got the lead up to four now for the Warriors. And defensively, these guys are looking for answers. Since halftime, they've seen disjointed and out of sync. They have got to get back that rhythm defensively. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. Warriors leading by four. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, it's all about clock management with these situations. Let's see how it plays out. Here's Wiggins. The fadeaway Jay off the mark. And we've watched three so far in this one. Warriors lead by four. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's an unguardable pass. Flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. They've got Sharich. Stephen Curry's out there with Andrew Wiggins. And it's Pajemski in at the shooting guard. Here's Monk following the score by Golden State. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Monk is an interesting player. A combo guard with fantastic scoring potential. Quick on both ends of the floor. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Golden State. And a change for the Kings. 
Kevin Herter. He's checked in for Duarte. And Monk drops them both. Here's Pajemski. Sharks trying to break free. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. And the first one at the line is good. And some changes here for the Warriors. Kevon Looney is checked in for Sharich. And it's Jonathan Kaminga in for Andrew Wiggins. And the Kings also making a change. Murray's checked in. No good on the second free throw. At the least, he did extend it to a two-possession game. That's important. The kick out to Sabonis. Mitchell dishes to Murray. Herder against Thompson. Herder, no good. And the defense was all over him once he got in close. Didn't want him to get too comfortable. Some nice passing by Golden State. And there's the pass to Thompson. Oh, Thompson, tough shot. And, and offensively, they seem to have turned a corner. Mitchell against Curry. Mitchell left side. Murray down low. Kaminga on him. Four on the clock. For three, Mitchell. Curry with the rebound. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. Did a great job closing the gap, making the shooter feel uncomfortable. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Textbook defense take a good angle to the shooter and bother the release. For three, Murray gets it to go from beyond the arc. Murray's got his first three points of the game. And NBA ready as a rookie, Murray can do damage from deep. And here's Kaminga to the inside. Here's Thompson. Ooh, Thompson scoring through tough coverage. The Kings trail by six. That's to Sabonis. Warriors with the rebound. Looney's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Kaminga, no good. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over him. Mitchell against Kerr. Mitchell kicks to Herter. Lock at four. A three from Barnes. Pajemski grabs the board. Warriors leading by six. Outside Kerr. Rebound by Mitchell. And not sure they've got enough time to save themselves. And if I were them, I'd start thinking about where I'm going to get food after the game because this one looks a bit out of reach. And they go to the intentional foul. Sacramento making some changes. Monk comes in for Kevin Herter. And De'Aaron Fox subbed in for Davion Mitchell. Two points here might be all the cushion they need. You would think so. This game is theirs for the take. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. Timeout called by the Kings. They're down by six. 35 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing. They need a score. Yeah, it has to be fast. They got to take the first good look they get.
And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has time made out, out. everything. Timeout called by the Kings. They trail by six. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Twenty-six seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Fox inside the line. It falls! And now they trail by just four. And this is the trust that Fox's teammates have in him. What a shot right there. And an intentional foul right there. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Taking full advantage of his opportunities at the line to extend their lead. No time to waste on this possession. Clock working against them right now. Fox, no good. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. And Mitchell launches it from deep. No good. So we see the Warriors get the win here. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their team. But in the end, everyone satisfied. Uh, I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on. But let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Andrew, an impressive win for you guys. How will you look back on tonight? Uh, it feels great, you know. And uh, I think the whole team played great. You know, we shared the ball. Uh, we grabbed rebounds. We made big possessions. You know, so I think it was a great game. Hey, Andrew, congrats again. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. See you later.